So in our last unit, we, uh, or the last module, we saw that this dude, Alfred Wagner, put together this idea that all of the continents at one time were all together, <clears throat> and then they drifted to their current positions that we see them in today. Now, he wrote this long and, and <coughs> very uh, detailed book about his theories called The Origin of Continents and Ocean, and basically he outlined what he thought continental drift to be in this book. Now, he, he basically said that we started out as something like Pangaea. He didn't call it Pangaea, but he, he said all the continents were together, and eventually they, they moved apart and were pulled apart to their current positions today. He used evidence um, like the fit of the continents. Okay, He knows that they all fit together surprisingly well. Um, and then if you take the actual continental shelf, the, part, the shallow oceans, and line those up, and it looks like they fit together even better. So he used fit. He also looked at the rock layers in um, mountain ranges that were adjacent from each other across the oceans and saw that you know, these rock layers lined up, just like this model is showing you. So he saw fit. He saw rock layers. He also saw evidence in fossils. Again, we talked about the fossil paradoxities, that trilobite fossil that lived in fresh water being on two sides of the ocean. We also talked about the fern and then the mesiosaurs. Lastly, um, the glaciation evidence. There's evidence pointing to glaciers and, and remnants of glaciers being present that he said these are moving. Um, so that said, there were weaknesses. People scrutinized him. People called him crazy. Um, the problem was at that time no one could answer the mechanism that could move continents so large. So although uh, he had a lot of evidence pointing to his opinions, the problem with his opinions were that he didn't have a mechanism to explain this. Okay, He ended up dying before his discoveries were supported. Um, now years and years later, uh, 1960s actually, when we start to have a better understanding of what the ocean floor looks like, um, it was because we actually had mapped the ocean floor because of World War II, we found out that um, there are these fissures in the middle of the ocean and, and it looks like there are actually plates underneath our ocean. And so this is what plate tectonics basically became. Okay, it was, it, it was originally continental drift and then we turned it into plate tectonics. Yes, the continents are moving. Yes, Wagner's evidence is all true and now we have our mechanism. Plate tectonics basically says that Earth is broken up into its outermost layers that are hard, brittle pieces called plates. Again, in your last learning objective, you guys learned that these plates are made out of the lithosphere and are crust, okay? Now, heat flowing via the convection current moves these, and again, you learned this in our last learning objective, that the asthenosphere is the layer that allows them to move. So with these convection currents moving these plates, these plates are holding the continents, the continents are moving around in the oceans. So this is one of the views that we think the plates are on. Here's a picture of what we believe is very strong evidence behind um, plate tectonics, these underwater rifts, these ridges and mountain ranges underwater. So that's basically your very brief intro to our plate tectonics.